Welcome everyone back to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Russia. Alright, so we're in this hopeless war that really can't advance, but the good news is at least we are accruing an early advantage. One which I don't think will ever be kind of crushed. I think this is it. We will probably maintain our lead for the rest of this uh, war. Just because there's no big battles, there's no way for us to really lose that lead. Unless we lost heavy cruisers or light cruisers, a whole bunch of them. But we've also pulled all those guys back um, to home waters, so it'll be even more difficult for that to happen. All right, so sorry I was adjusting. Trying to make sure my sound settings were correct. It feels a bit low, but that's fine. Okay, we're sinking submarines. We are sinking merchant ships, two versus two. And another cruiser action. Well, very low. We expect this will probably be like two light cruisers and destroyers again. But it's really close to where our 11-inch guns... Ooh, we have a light cruiser division even over. Did we get the 11-inch guns? I can't remember. Yeah, it does not say here. It will say here, of course. So we have... Oh, I need this up and set. No, that's there. Okay, six inch. Six inch. Six inch. Yeah, six inch. Just nothing but six inch. I guess the 11, or sorry, the nine inch probably needs another couple months. I forgot to check on it, but that's fine. Yeah, otherwise our forces are exactly what we thought. It's the destroyer group, which is scouting. Nope, screening. They don't have the scout option quite yet. Mm, whatever, we'll just immediately, we're going to get these guys into support. Okay, uh, let's just assume that they know how to deal with support. I don't know what that's going to do. And we only have one single light cruiser here, a Vesta class. These guys are pretty well armored, but... Okay, well, um, since we can't do anything else, let's get this uh, fixed up. Click, 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 and go. Whoops, we need that. All right, so what did you guys decide to do? Ah, you did support line ahead. Well, that's good. Then you already started in the right way. So get you guys up to probably like 24 or so. Get the rend up to squad max. Now let's actually take a look at where we spotted them. Okay, we're on the wind side. Now we also know that we have some kind of support. Yeah, it is just the light cruiser division. And it is... Can I see you? You won't let me see what you are. Okay, a Vesta and a Vesta. Okay, so two more Vesta classes, which could really... I mean, that practically triples our firepower. So that's a very sizable um, difference if we can get them involved or not. First, kind of, hopefully we can just make out what we're dealing with here. I think we're heading in a good direction, more or less, in order to maintain a win advantage. They're also kind of doing the smart thing and trying to get as far south as quickly as possible. It's about noon time right now, so that's a good thing as well. It should give us a slight advantage, uh, being able to fight them for longer. What are you, though? That's what... The world is waiting to know what are you, and where could you possibly run to? Over here. If it's just a light cruiser, I think we go in, because I don't think our light cruisers... Oh. Is that so? Well, wait one more turn. We're still a little bit far away, so let's see. Yeah, we're about uh, six miles away. It's a fair distance for them to be shooting. They will probably open up soon. Okay, there it is. It is an Aurora-class light cruiser. Hmm, yeah, these guys are pretty darn good. Okay, so our Vesta class has two advantages as I see it. One, we have two and a half versus their two inch turret and we have six inch for our conning tower I guess let's make that three advantages we also have four submerged torpedo tubes 
whereas they only have two. Their advantage, they also have six three-inch guns. So that's just three three-inch guns they can be firing at our light cruiser. Yeah, I think it's a good idea for us to at least attempt to lure them into an unfavorable battle. So let's see if that works. First of all, let me see, can I actually control these guys? I get them, it does not appear so. No, it does not appear like I can. Just for fun, we can see if that works. Then we just wanna leave the Rinda out of sight. Of course, we wanna leave her out of sight, but going slow enough that this is, you know, a little bit more convincing. Uh, also, uh, not more convincing, I, what do I, what is that I'm trying to do here? Oh yeah, I don't want to burn out her engine. We do want to throw our bait out there, of course. And it would be nice if we can push them up into our buddies. Now nah, it looks like they're taking the bait. All right, so surely at this point, our light cruisers will engage, right? I mean, how could it be otherwise? We also need to try to save um, those light cruisers from taking too much damage, but are they moving in? Yes, no, maybe so. We will deploy a smoke screen to try to save our poor <laughs> destroyers. The bait is already, been yeah, okay. It looks like they're moving in. Reduce that smoke screen. Now, the question is, are they going to stick with it? All right, let's just go squad max, full out. Okay, they did, this is, they're gonna have to turn eventually. So I'm okay with this. I am actually okay with them making this run hard. We're getting our full broadside off. Not hitting yet. Oh, we are getting hit. But there's no, just, there's no bad way for this to... I, they, I would say it's almost impossible. Well, that's really not good, but it's almost impossible for us to be... Oh my gosh. Sunk. I don't think we can be sunk, but we're just buying time for our support to come up. No, 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 keep pursuing. Well, um, actually, maybe lure them back. God, Rinda, you just did not perform very well in this engagement. Yeah, okay, yeah, and her parting gesture to me is, uh, look at I hit them. Again, just buying time. Those light cruisers are making their way in slowly but surely. Maybe they uh, have kind of given up on life. Maybe they realize it's impossible. We need to do a little bit of dodging just because torpedoes. Always a possibility. A greatly feared possibility. All right, so everything is working out well now. We have supposedly have all three of our ships, all three of our light cruisers engaging. I don't know if these guys actually are. It looks, yeah, they are, but... Yeah, he actually calls them Vesta class. It doesn't even give their name. We are launching torpedoes, and they are dodging them because, for some reason, as we we don't really know why, but for some reason they can see torpedoes, whereas we cannot. But we really brought them right into the um, unknown ship. What, who are we talking about here? Is there another, am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Also, Rinda, make sure that you don't end up sunk. Rinda's launching torpedoes now, okay. Well, you know what, this one looks better. And hey, we're connecting a bit too. Now, gonna miss a baft. Ah, oh, brother. Choose. It's a little embarrassing too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Are you kidding me? 
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it's not fair. <laughs> Wait, oh, that looked like a hit. I'm saying it's not fair and it looks like the AI can hit even when it's playing for us. It just means the AI is better, but that did not register as a hit or we just maybe don't get con um, Maybe we don't get notified of torpedo hits which are not part of our fleet. Um, our control fleet. It's very strange, no matter what you... No, no way, any way you look at it, that's a little bizarre. Either the torpedo just happened to run out of fuel, like inches after it passed the Aurora, or that was legitimately a hit, and I don't think it was because the Aurora is still kicking. Now our goal with Arinda is just to keep her heading south and south and south so we can maintain that beautiful wind advantage. Oh wow, she's gotten everything back up and working. Well, that's really good news. The good, I mean, the even better news is that all that downtime we had, she was not pushing her uh, coal burners at all. People didn't have to shovel that much coal since we were only moving 11 knots. Okay, we are getting hits with 4-inch guns. Is that a fire? No. Maybe. I don't know. Or is that deploying smoke? I don't know. Just get the rind up to speed. Okay, this is a, I, what I have to remember is, although it's fun to do every engagement perfectly, this is still just a light cruiser engagement. It's, I, I, the, it doesn't matter, essentially. <laughs> so, the amount of points that we gain, lose, and this is just so minute. Let's just run continuously. Whoa. Okay, fine, fine. That's, you guys go to AI. Okay, we got her now. She's slowing down. I'm surprised we haven't launched more torpedoes yet there it is okay so we don't get the confirm oh we do there it is well very good another inconsequential but fun little engagement and war with japan is really creeping up huh i mean it was at 10 i think before but i think for some reason in my head i thought it dropped back down to nine and it went back up but I'm probably mistaken. All right, let's see, we have... Well, what do we have? Reginald, PB, the Poltava, only within a year, so these guys will definitely be finishing soon. Actually, after this war ends, oh, we should get some battle cruisers. that's right. Aha, there's the nine inch coastal battery. Well, I think we... We're, we've extended our lead a little bit. So let's put it this way. I don't like the Navy can fight on if needed. Just sounds um, a little pessimistic. Okay, we now have mine rails. That's the great thing about Russia, right? Their mine technology. Although Austria-Hungary beat us to it, that doesn't seem right at all. It, am I correct in thinking that Oh my gosh, 20 victory points. Well, at least this time we can actually see our 9-inch gun. Ugh, yikes. And what kind of weather is this? We have mist. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming visibility is going to be very poor. Now let's check out this gun. Are you the last one? Okay, come on. If we do this, it should. Oh, that's so interesting. The Baltic guns move themselves. Why is this an old land target? It, it's brand stinking new. 
Okay, I'm very confused. I don't know what old land target means. I, I'm assuming it's the same thing as when you have an old ship, 10 years old. That thing is just... They just finished painting her. I'm not even sure if they painted her yet because we're at war. They probably just said, okay, fine. The look of concrete is good enough. Still, I'm, I'm just, very confused why it says old. All right, well, anyways, let's just get this over with. We, it's going to be a miserable experience because I'm feisty about my old land fort. Um, you know what? Let's go to support, line ahead. Squad max, all these things, but then we're just gonna get you to go to AI control. I don't like, I mean, we don't have anything. We don't have anything until Riga, for crying out loud. And the wind advantage looks like it's gonna be pretty difficult to get here. I'm expecting this one for some reason to be a, a, a heavy cruiser, but I'm wrong. Okay, so let's get this guy to just be AI control. Very good. And we're off. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's get this side. Okay, here we go. We're <laughs> extremely close. We've hit them. We should be launching torpedoes. We should be launching torpedoes. That was just like the perfect opportunity to launch torpedoes. <laughs> they just came right up to us and we were on a consistent course. So a solution should not have been very difficult to get. Anyways, we blasted them pretty hard in the first opening minutes of this. <clears throat> they claim already medium damage. I don't know if that's true, but... Okay, what is a Diana class anyway? Wow, okay, so this is a really weak ship. Two submerged torpedo tubes. Something to be con concerned about, but everything else, we don't care. Just basically do whatever you can to sink this ship. I guess we should probably go right at her. No, we don't mind actually if she heads this way because that's gonna corral her right into where we want her, right? Yeah, we can also take um, such things as wind into, what in God's name is going on? Okay, need you guys to go squad max because for some reason we're losing her. Oh my gosh, she's 27 knots. Yeah, no, no kidding we're losing her. <laughs> well, our destroyers are fast enough. We will overtake. All right, knowing that we're going to overtake, I'm going to lead a little bit to the right. Because that's where we're hopefully going to shove the Diana class off to. Yeah, just like that. Okay, our, I mean, our freaking destroyers are the ones having to close here. If they can launch torpedoes, I'm completely okay with that. Four-inch guns, so, you know, we are actually firing the same caliber weapon. And the more times we can get them to turn and do little, whoops, zigzags or whatever, they're going to bleed off speed in those turns. Okay, yeah, well, we're going to continue to go squad max, even if it costs us the other destroyer, which it may, just on the odd chance that we can get back into range enough. I'm not worried, this destroyer is probably going to be okay. I actually really like our, our destroyers, the 4-inch guns are somewhat effective. More effective than I expected, that's for sure. Yeah, we got another hit, 4-inch. I forgot to check out their armor. What are we dealing with here? Wow. Pretty sizable belt. Are we expecting to penetrate right now? Oops, wrong one. Data. We're penetrating 2 at 5,000, and they are 2,900 away. Yeah, we're penetrating 2.5 then. Yeah, I think we're penetrating with our 4-inch guns. That's great. Fantastic news. So she really has only two options now, to either cut to the right or cut back behind us. I think she's going to cut back to the right. Oh boy. Well, that was a brutal hit. 
torpedo tubes hit. Yeah, that's another thing. Why are we not doing the whole torpedo thing? Oh, 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 so close. Oh, we're about to ram them. And we actually are getting pretty low on damage. I mean, we're taking quite a few. Oh my god, we're about to sink. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> Leave it up to the experts, Bernie. Alright, so now things are a little bit better. Let's see if the light cruiser can do any kind of finishing work. We just basically wait. I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And yeah, we're getting a few hits in. Have they slowed down at all? A bit, I think. And these hits are good. Maybe we can pull this out. Okay, another hit. And this is the kind of fun game you have to play. Do I get off the broadside, or do I just try to cut down the distance by going right at them, even knowing I'm only gonna fire one gun? I think we'll probably just pursue directly now because they look like they're going a little bit slower. Yeah, this is good. Just keep hitting them. We're gonna get lucky eventually. Look at Bernie. Um, I'm going to take a moment here to tell you what you should do. Just go back to port. Can't be of any more use to us. Oh boy. Damn it, anyhow. Come back. You could be use of, of your great use to us. Uh, how much further do we go this way before we just call it a quits? Yeah. Okay, we lost him. Well, that was frustrating. They all crewed back up. Let's go just really slow. I'm not expecting... Wait, why are we fast? Does that mean they're close by? I have no idea. So it's a Russian victory still because somehow our medium damage to them is more than the... Pretty significant damage they inflicted on our other ships. Yeah, they went way south. There was a time, I, I don't remember the last time I did this, but I did at some time skip ahead in the in the universe, in the career. I, did, I skipped some of the recorded content. I didn't post it. I might have to do that here because we're really not getting anything interesting. Aha! Yes, very good, Mapper. Okay. They sink. Wait a second. Oh, man, okay. Oh, the Tomislav. The infamous Tomislav. Well, it's early. Rather early in the day. This will probably be our last engagement. And then we can get, hopefully, to see, we'll at least have to see how our funds are doing, and we can maybe design that battle cruiser. Alright, so just keep going. Ship sighted. They have the wind side, that's fine. Squad max. Tomislav is a flora? She is. Okay. It's about the same, I mean, really just the conning tower is lower. And we should be able to go for a longer time because they have reliable engines at max speed. Oh, is this an AMC? Yeah, it looks like it is. Well, we'll we can hunt this down. Yeah, obviously it's a transport ship because <laughs> they're firing at us. Not a real transport ship. Wow, this is a sizable transport ship. Goodness gracious. Two early hits. They don't have armor, so those are going to be devastating. Already heavy damage, as you can see. Devastating hits. Three more hits, it's over. Very good. Alright. I wish every engagement was that easy. Okay, now we have the funds and we have the monthly balance. I think it's time... Uh, one more month? Do I go one more month? Maybe one more month. 
Okay, this is actually really good. I'm glad that this piece concluded because this was going to happen anyway, right? They're all back. Four of my heavy cruisers. Jeez. All right, well, let's get them all to move home. Oh, no, they can't actually move home yet. They're still in port. Okay. You can, though. Okay, there we go. And everyone else is more or less okay. All right, so we have a lot of retrofitting and stuff to do. You know what? I'm actually going to retrofit things like the Minesweeper off camera. That's just not important, right? Um, the rest of the retrofits I think I'll do on camera. And, of course, we'll do the new design on camera. But here's the reason why it's very good we didn't build the Battlecruiser. This would have forced us immediately to pause the construction. And what happens if we hit next turn, which we will do? Well, nothing, but... If the game wanted to be really nice to me, it would throw us a new technology. Hmm. Well, new docks completed. That's kind of... Ah, man, I don't really care about Q-ships. I'm going to do it just because I'm a glutton. I'm a glutton for uh, technology. And for some reason, actually, our monthly balance is going down further. We didn't do... Oh, these guys have been... I'm not sure if these are the reason why that changed or not. My hypothesis right now is when they were in port, we weren't paying for them or we were paying less or something. I don't know. And now that they're out, we're paying a lot more for maintenance. I'm just really glad that Northeast Asia doesn't need more people. Yeah, we're 80,000 tons over what we need there. Maybe it's even time to draw a few more of those people back. Nah, it's just some of the old battleships. So we can leave those there. All right, so we're going to have a real problem in a second because, well, I guess we can pause the Poltava. But as soon as she finishes, this cost is going to drop from 2.2 down to, you know, just 300. So we're going to gain 1.9 a month as soon as we can get these finished. So it's really important that we try to do that quickly. Oh, that can also help. Ah, oh, man, trouble reaching her design speed. I specifically designed this ship underweight. Specifically. I specifically designed her underweight. So if we open design for rebuild, it should say 27. Yeah, she's 13 tons underweight. Specifically for this purpose, that maybe it would help her not have a slower speed, and ideally even she'd be a little bit faster than we predicted. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. What we're going to do is simply refit her with maybe 5 less tons of ammo. And... Yeah, I mean, that's five less rounds, but it also coincidentally happens to be exactly five tons. So one round, one one ton. Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll see if that improvement makes these ships lose that stupid loss of one knot. Yeah, so we're going to get a lot of these guys finishing right at the right time. Okay, Northern Korea. I don't mind increasing tensions like this. Send a force. Wow, fantastic. We've gained Northern Korea. That's like awesome. There it is. And the value of this is five. Yeah, this is good. This is quite good. My goal by the end of this um, series, by the end of Admiral Tortuga's reign, I want to take everything in Northeast Asia, well, except for Japan itself. So we need to go to war with Germany, Great Britain, and of course Japan. It's a bit, it's idealistic, but it gives us something to shoot for. I mean, it's not like we're going to be able to take everything in Northern Europe. These things are, look at a value of 12, you can't even ever take that. Unless you invade it. So it won't be given in a peace treaty though. And these things are starting to, okay, so this 1% weight saving on machinery. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. 
If we had built a battle cruiser and then just let it sit in the construction queue, rather than just designing a new one this month, we would not have gotten that 1% savings. Designing it this month means that you want to wait until you can get the ships pumped out from start of construction to finish as fast as possible. Anytime they spend under construction, just waiting, essentially means you wait, you built, started building them too soon. Yeah, we got some out of, ooh, these guys are obsolete. <laughs> the captains are complaining. This is no good. I'm, I was kind of hopeful that maybe we'd get a disarmament treaty. Otherwise, I think two more months and we should have the funds to build the battle cruisers. Yeah, increased oblique penetration ability. That's AP, I think. Yeah, this is necessary. This is a good one to buy. Okay, should be zero months left. I think that uh, we didn't. We weren't lucky. There it is. And we have director firing. Oh, this is amazing. I'm so glad we waited. Now our battle cruisers can get director firing at the same time. Okay, cruising formation in parallel columns. Um, I don't know if I've ever used this in my entire time playing this game. I don't even know if I've ever seen the option. Or maybe it's just that they start that way at the very start of a battle. I don't know. Okay, but let's go one more month. I know that we're pushing 31 minutes now, but let's go one more month. Oh, yeah. Um, Austrian government, the one we just defeated. Yes, we will let them have that. Because hopefully their defeat has lowered their budget. Let's take a look at how we're doing budget-wise. Yeah, Austria-Hungary is almost up to us. Yeah, we are not doing that hot. I mean, France is ahead of us, for crying out loud. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> At least for starting budget, I think ours was... Was it higher than France? I, I don't remember. I can't say. All right, well, how are we doing? I think one more month. All right, it's 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 time. Let's get this battle cruiser going. So we want a battle cruiser. I already know we already know more or less what it's going to be, right? Not quite. This is close. Let's just clear this. I'm going to do things my way. It's my way or the highway. First of all, yes, of course, oil burning. Normals fine. 28's a little fast. Let's do 27. Let's shoot for 30,000 as a target. Belt extended. No, I think two, we'll just leave this at two. Deck of two is fine. Deck extended one. Conning tower, always a little bit heavier. Turrets, now this is where turrets get to be more, more important though. We don't want um, a an explosion, a magazine and detonation destroying our ship. If they want a nickel and dime us, that's fine, but I do not want to lose um, a ship to a single blow to the turret. Torpedo defense of two, I think that's perfect. From what I remember, yeah, torpedo defense two is like almost no addition compared to, well, I mean, this is because our ship is pretty light right now. When we add the turrets, it's gonna change things a bit. So we want forward, we want A and forward superimposed. Whoops, actually we need to do it this way. Forward and aft are gonna be triple. And forward superimposed and aft superimposed will be double. Same way we always do it. It's my fun little way of designing the ship. This oval here needs to be dropped back. Whoa, whoops, so that one is here. Okay, which one is which? Damn it. Just for fun anyway. Okay, so there's our ship. Um, yes, we are gonna want, is two torpedoes enough? Okay, let's just start with some of the basics here. Let's get up to 120, which is probably all we need with such a um, high caliber weapon. 
which decreases its rate of fire. We have director fire control, which should increase our accuracy. You know, I like, I really like a lot about this ship. I'm just looking at it right now and I'm trying to think what can make this better. Six inch guns, I think we can do, oh my God. Maybe not. If I had quality one for either five inch or six inch, we would just pick that one. That would be the go-to. Hmm, I want the turret top to be two and a half because we do want to protect those turrets. These things are going to survive long enough to be in the long range engagements where the top of the turret can get hit. If I have to be extremely honest, I think that even two and a half is a bit low. I would much rather get three. Would I rather get three enough to drop my turret down to 11.5 armor? I don't think so. Jeez. Ugh, it's really hard. 27 is so darn fast, though. That's crazy fast. What we're going to expect is this, this battlecruiser should be able to outrun all the dreadnoughts, but it doesn't need to outrun other battlecruisers. It wants to be able to keep pace with other battlecruisers, but I expect that my Russian ships, this is how much faith I put in my ships, that we should win. Let's see how much this drops. Yeah, this gives us 450 tons to deal with. That's that's fantastic. Is that... Yeah, it gives us enough to go up to turret top 3. That's very good. Probably gives us enough to go up to 9.5 belt. But more importantly, this is going to give us enough to go up to this. Even get 9 6 inch guns per side. I love that. That's kind of like my miracle number. If we get to 9, I'm, I'm very happy. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can get up to 9.5 unless... Uh -huh -huh. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is, this is quite good. So, 13.5 for conning tower. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, let's take a look at this. 26 knot battlecruiser. We reduced the speed just a hair for the belt. You know, 9, 9.5. I don't even know what kind of difference that's going to make. I've never felt the armor, what kind of difference it makes. If there was a little more information provided in the game, and, you know, to a certain degree, you don't necessarily want that information because it might lead to too much min-max number crunching, but um, it would be nice to know, like, uh, if there was, like, a debug mode or something, how many penetrations happened that would have been stopped by the next higher armor or something like that, you know? So I, I really don't have any feel for if my armor, what the difference between 9 and 9.5. And I don't even have a feel for the difference of 9 and 11. I just don't. Which is why I tend to make my belt armor lower um, towards the late game because I don't, I just doesn't seem like it matters that much. We have plenty of displacement to deal with too. I mean, we could always increase the size of these things, but increase in size, if we look at right now, the monthly cost is going to be about 3.1 to build, 3.1 million. And just by jumping this up with no other reason, that increases that, right? So. Mainly this is increased by adding weapons, you know, adding ammo. Okay, ammo really does not add much at all. I guess adding belt. How much does a 9 to 9.5? Yeah, that's a that's a reasonable difference. Anyway, I think this is set where it is. 26 knots is still pretty darn fast. It's oil burning, so that means it's going to last really long. The engine, the oil burning engines are pretty good. Um, we don't have to worry about bleeding off speed because the people aren't shoveling fast enough or the stokes are getting dirty or whatever. So, yeah, let's just call it at this. One, when I see a one ton remaining, I'm, I'm happy. All right, this is called the Kinburn Navarine, the Ismail. I like that. This will be the Ismail. One final check, nine and a half, two, two, one, 13.5, 12, three, two, perfect. I like everything about this. Torpedo Defense 2, love it. Good 14 inch guns. A little bit low on the ammo side, but that's okay. It's a battle cruiser, right? We're not expecting it to be a ship of the line sitting, going toe to toe. So what we've made here is definitely a British style battle cruiser. 
if we wanted to go more the um, German style, we could decrease, well, we'd be decreasing our main gun caliber in favor of really heavy armor. I think this is the better way of doing it though. So let's just go ahead and save it. Enough talk. Now let's see how come, uh, well, I mean, I guess let's get three of them. Yeah, this is not going to last long. We have four turns like this. <laughs> so this is part of the problem. We don't have the money to really do this quite yet, but that's okay. We'll try. And we'll go one more turn. I just always like to check one more turn to make sure a huge breakthrough doesn't happen right after I design my ship. So at least we made that little, we passed the test. All right, I'm going to call this episode to a close. It was a bit of a longer one, but I... I know I said I was going to do the battlecruiser design in the, well, in the last episode, I said I was going to do it in the next episode, so in other words, this one, and uh, I don't like to say something and then not do it, <laughs> which is, I mean, hey, that's a good thing, right? Most people, it would be nice if most people were like that, so kind of stuck it out just to get that ship design, but it's a bit of a longer episode, so I apologize about that. I think that these um, seem to fit right in around the 30-minute mark. And especially if you're doing ship battles, those can run longer, but not when you're just at the strategic mode. All right, and finally, the one last thing I want to say is I will be pitching once again tomorrow, Saturday, um, at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and that's probably around 9 o'clock at night in Europe, thereabouts. I'll be doing my live stream just for an hour, an hour and a half, maybe up to two hours. We're just going to do a Confederate States of America playthrough. Um, should be a lot of fun. <laughs> you guys can voice your opinion on designs, on anything, and we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.